Did something happen at work by any chance? Since the wedding three days ago, you mentioned that you suddenly got busy with work. You went to the office and haven't come back since. I've tried calling and messaging, but you haven't responded. Are you really that busy? Or is it that you're bothered by not being able to go on a honeymoon due to work? If that's the case, don't worry about it. So, if you're not coming home, does that mean you're staying overnight at the office? I understand that it's tough, but I'm worried that you might be overworking. If possible, can you please come back home? Or at least give me a call or a message to let me know what's going on. Hey sis, have you heard from Liam? Oh, Amelia. Not yet. He seems busy with work. He hasn't contacted me once and hasn't come home. We're newlyweds, but I can't understand why he's not reaching out to me. I knew it. Um, actually, I need to tell you something a bit unsettling. What? I'm scared. It's about mom and dad, and if I mention it, you might get some idea. Seriously? On the wedding day, despite their reluctant attendance, they had plenty to say. Like, I've never seen a bride who doesn't suit the wedding dress so much, and they criticized my choice of the dress. They even commented on the lack of manners among the guests. I wish I could have stopped them, but they didn't listen at all. I'm sorry, sis. It's fine, you don't have to apologize, Amelia. I knew you were trying your best to stop them, so don't worry about it. It makes me feel better to hear you say that. But here's the problem. Huh? What's wrong? Okay, please don't panic when you read this. But it seems our parents are thinking about arranging a marriage with Liam for me. What? What do you mean? Liam is already my husband. They're saying it knowingly. Of course, I have no intention of going along with it. Yeah, I'm glad you say that. After all, you've been dating your boyfriend since college, right? Yeah, you know, mom and dad found out I have a boyfriend and made me break up with him before. Really? So you've been dating him in secret then? I can't believe our parents are pushing my husband to become your husband. Seriously, what's going on? Could it be the reason why Liam has been ignoring me for a long time? Is it related to our parents? I'm not sure yet. But during the wedding reception, I saw Dad was whispering about something to Liam. Since then, I've had a suspicious feeling and have been watching Dad's actions. Then I noticed that lately he's been sneaking off after work and going out somewhere. And making secretive phone calls even on days off. Yesterday, I finally managed to eavesdrop on his calls. He was talking about divorce and my marriage certificates. Are they trying to make me divorce Liam? My dad and my husband are planning this out. I think so. Plus, dad and mom seem weirdly happy and grinning about it. I've got this really bad feeling about it. You know, your gut feelings are usually spot on. We gotta come up with a plan real quick, but I'm not sure what to do. Sis, why didn't the two of us meet in person once and go over things? Yeah, that might be a good idea. Sooner the better, right? I'll be working late tomorrow, so if you are free, how about the day after tomorrow? Yeah, I don't have any plans then, so that would work for me. The day after tomorrow then. I'll swing by your office and pick you up. Got it. Hey, I just finished my work. I can leave the office anytime. How about you? Sorry, dealing with a customer took longer than expected. I'll be about 10 more minutes. Alright, I'm chilling in the break room, so take your time. What? Wait a second. What's wrong? I got a message from Liam. What? Oh, you exchanged contacts at the wedding, right? It's weird that he's reaching out to you even though he's still ignoring me. Yeah, you're right. Well, since he messaged me, I will try to see what he's trying to do with me. So, sis, take your time and you don't have to rush. Got it. Hey, Amelia, it's me, Liam. Hey, Liam, how are you? I'm sorry I couldn't properly introduce myself before the wedding. Oh, don't worry about it. It turns out Sophia set up everything because she was jealous of your beauty, right? What? My sister set that up? Jealous? What are you talking about? I heard it from your parents. Sophia was totally jealous of you, the sister who's got it all, parents' favorite, popular, and talented. She always compared herself to you and bullied you every day. What? The reason you weren't at home when I visited to formally introduce myself was because she didn't inform you. 
A lady like you, who had been going through such tough times, apparently fell in love with me at the wedding. You were torn because I became your sister's husband and you've been crying every day thinking about me. But don't worry, Amelia. Actually, from the moment I saw you at the wedding, I... Hold on. What? I've never said or thought anything like that. What? I don't know what my parents told you, but... My relationship with my sister has always been good, and I haven't fallen so low as to pursue my brother-in-law. I wasn't at home that day because my work kept me busy. In fact, my sister tried her best to adjust the schedule so I could be at home. Oh, Amelia, you don't have to pretend anymore. You should be honest about what you feel. I'm actually in front of your apartment right now. What? Your parents gave me the address, and I... I came to propose. What? Let me in. I'm not at home. What? Either way, the answer is no. I have a boyfriend, so I'm sorry. Sis, crazy thing happened. What's wrong? You should hurry up and get a divorce. What? I'll show you his messages later, but it's really bad. What happened? Hey, Amelia, are you staying at your boyfriend's place? Yeah, when I explained the situation, he said I could stay as long as I needed. Also, thanks for giving me a ride. I'm sorry if I made you worried. Well, after getting a text like that, you can't take public transportation. Things might get worse if he finds you. Given the situation, Dad might have found out about my boyfriend. They might force me to break up with my boyfriend again. I'm so tired of this. I'm so sorry. You don't have to apologize. It's all our parents' fault and Liam's fault. Besides, I won't break up with my boyfriend no matter what they say. He's right here agreeing with me. You have such a nice boyfriend. Yeah, I do. Anyways, I talked to my boyfriend just now. We're actually thinking of moving forward with the plan I mentioned earlier and putting it into action soon. So, it looks like it's going to happen around the same time as what I'm doing. That's right. Well, it might be better for both of us in terms of ensuring our safety. Can I have a week? Yeah, I was thinking around the same. Okay, I'll contact you with the details tomorrow. Got it. Hello, Amelia. Let's go on a date tomorrow. I talked to your parents and they mentioned your recent hesitation was just a bit of shyness. Oh, got it now. I guess this is the part where I need to step up and take charge, huh? I'll swing by to pick you up after work. We'll grab a fancy dinner at a place with a great view, and then I'm planning to pop the question. After that, I've reserved a suite at a nearby hotel. I'm sure you can fill in the blanks without me saying more, right? I'm really looking forward to tomorrow. Oh my god, sis! I got a creepy message. What? From Liam? Yes! Talking about a dinner with a great view, proposal, and heading straight to a hotel suite. It's gross. It makes me sick. Jesus, I'm really sorry. There's no need for you to apologize. Well, I mean, I'm sorry for marrying a guy like that. Well, I'll just accept your apology about that. Hey, how about clearing out your stuff from your apartment tonight? Your boyfriend sometimes goes and packs your things, right? Yeah, he's already sorted out about 80%, so we can manage it by tonight. Oh, wait a moment. What? He says he wants to settle things right away. He got angry after seeing the creepy message from Liam earlier. He's really upset. I'm glad you have such a caring boyfriend. In that case, let's settle it right away. I'm already prepared on my end. Got it. It's better to resolve this trouble quickly. Let's do that. Amelia, I drove my luxury car, brought a bouquet of roses, and went to pick you up. Who the hell was that guy? He just grabbed me out of nowhere and threw a punch. What a terrible guy. He's my boyfriend. What? I've already told you, I have a boyfriend. We've been dating for many years since our college days, and we've even talked about marriage. He got really angry after seeing the creepy messages that you sent me. 
But your parents said... The whole thing started with trying to break up with my boyfriend, who didn't meet my parents' expectations. And the harassment towards my sister, who my parents have always looked down on because she got married before me. Really? I'm sorry that you got involved in this mess. But you shouldn't involve yourself. After all, you're my sister's husband. Please stop meddling any further. I've moved out of that apartment to live with my boyfriend. What? Goodbye. Are you serious? Sophia, hey, um... Wow, you finally got in touch. I'm sorry for ignoring you for three months. Work has been busy. Oh really? Work? You've been sleeping at the office every day for three months. Yeah, that's right. But I finally got some free time. I can go home starting today. Oh, I see. I'm really sorry for ignoring you since the wedding. How about going out for dinner tonight? As an apology, I've made a reservation at a restaurant and I also booked a suite for us. No, thank you. I'm divorcing you. What? I was wondering what you were up to and it turns out you proposed to my sister. And even after being rejected by my sister, you've been inviting other ladylike CEO's daughters or college students to dinners and suites, right? How many women rejected you in the past three months? <laughs> you knew? You probably made a reservation at the restaurant tonight for another woman, right? And when she cancelled, you reluctantly invited me, huh? Did you finally realize you don't have the charm to attract women? And now you want to reconcile after trying to break up with me? Oh no, it's not like that. I feel bad for being swayed by other women. But after getting to know various women, I realize that I only want you after all. It's too late for anything you say now. I'm leaving with the baby in my belly. Wait, a baby? Please pay alimony and child support. Wait a minute. I'll leave the divorce documents on the table. Please sign it. Goodbye. What? Is that child mine? I didn't know you were pregnant. I wouldn't have done this if I knew. Sophia, I love only you. I got caught up in your parents' evil plan. I'm a victim here. Sophia, please come back. <laughs> My sister and I, having severed ties with our parents and Liam, started our new lives. With the help of my sister and her boyfriend, I safely gave birth to my daughter. Although I am truly angry with Liam, our daughter who was born is adorable. With the child support and alimony I receive from Liam, I am committed to giving my best effort in raising our daughter on my own. Well, in reality, my income alone is sufficient even without child support. Actually, I work as a lawyer and I make more than $100,000. On the other hand, my parents and Liam's income is less than that. In addition, Liam is burdened with paying alimony and child support to me. He is enduring a harsh life, paying for his mistakes. Meanwhile, my sister and her boyfriend are getting married next month, and I am really looking forward to it. Thank you for watching. Please rate the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video!